Hey everybody, this is my update for my quest for the world's largest hydroponic tomato. What you're looking at here are some big Zach tomatoes that are on the mother plants that supplied the clones for my experiment. And um, I'm going to pick some of these right now and see if it breaks my record of 1 pound 7.25 ounces. Okay, picked all my big Zacks that were ripe, and this one right here seems to be the biggest, so let's find out how much it weighs. Okay, time for the weigh-in. I have my scale zeroed out and switch it to ounces. And here, put the tomato on. This one's a beauty. Nice and red. No imperfections. And let's see what it weighs here. Let's see, one pound, 6.26 ounces. Not my record, but uh, very close to it. One more ounce would have put it over my record. Anyway. That's all for that. Oh my gosh, what just happened? And here they are. Here are the tomatoes. They're approximately four feet tall right now. And uh, it's been four weeks since I did an update. I know I promised every two weeks, but I got busy and couldn't do it. And one thing I changed out was uh, I have one high pressure sodium bulb and one uh, metal halide on the left there. And you can see the color difference, and I'm trying to get these things to flower, which they are right now, and I'll show you that in a second. And since I had extra light, I didn't want it to go to waste, I planted some lemon basil down here in dirt and just stuck it there for the heck of it. And let me give you a closer look here. Well, besides switching out one of the lights to high pressure sodium, I've also changed my nutrients. I'm using Maxabloom and with, in combination with uh, CalMag Plus and uh, that's just to get the plants flowering because they're getting too much nitrogen before and growing like crazy and uh, I would use Floromato but uh, I don't have any more right now I ran out with my last batch last winter but um, I'm gonna buy some more because uh, they're gonna stop making it soon and I don't, I'm not even sure if they're making it anymore right now but I know it's still available online in a few places so Time to stock up. Okay, as you can see here, since I switched the light bulb out to high pressure sodium to encourage flowering, it has really started to produce buds, but no blooms yet. And up here I have a really big flower. Let me see if I can show you that one. Right there. I'm hoping that's a mega bloom, because if it is, I'll have a huge tomato off that guy, and that's the goal. And um, Actually, back here, you can see I have my tomato seeds fermenting on the shelf and cucumber seeds. Uh, I ferment them for three days and um, no more than that because it will hurt the uh, germination rate of the seeds and they won't all be as good. And uh, let me show you what else I have going on. Here are some seeds that I already cleaned and uh, they're all ready to go into baggies. And I get these little baggies here at Walmart. They're uh, two by three inches, and they work great for trading seeds. They come in packs of a hundred, like this one right here, and it's only a dollar for a pack at Walmart. And they're in the um, craft section, so look for that. And these things are excellent for trading seeds, as I said, or just storing your seeds. And just label your little baggie, and you're good to go. All right, here we are in my kitchen, and these are my red robin tomatoes. There's a red robin tomato right there, and actually that's the only one right now. There's quite a few blooms on these tomatoes, and they're growing really thick. Really thick and short. And um, let me give you another shot here to show you the uh, flowers. And also, you can see down here, that's what we're doing with all our tomatoes. We're canning them. I think on our last haul we had 70 pounds, and we've been canning like crazy. So, that's what we're doing with them, but uh, let me show you these flowers here. Here are the red robin flowers. You can see how many there are. There's just tons all over the whole plant. And I'm about to pollinate them with the electric toothbrush. And I'll have a ton of tomatoes here soon. Not big, but for at least fresh. And I guess that's all for this time, and keep watching.